Okay, class. So today we will we will use the relationships that you learned in yesterday's assignment to solve uh, problems. Okay. So um, let, so at the left side of my screen, you have an anchor chart that I made. Uh, the anchor chart can be found in the folder in today's uh, folder. Okay. Uh, what I recommend is this. I recommend that you use these notes as you're working on today's assignment, okay? So it would be easier if you split your screen and put the anchor chart on the left side just the way I have it, okay? Uh, and on the right side, you can, uh, like I said, you can split your screen and have the, the assignment, okay? So, uh, so let me begin by reading the problem. Find the missing angles using the given angles. Uh, so they tell me the only information that I know is this angle one measures 130 degrees so I will write it down 130 degrees now they want me to find angle two five and six and I have to somehow use these relationships this chart to find the missing angles okay I repeat these are the relationships that you learned yesterday okay um, so going back to this Let's begin with angle two. The only thing that I know is that angle one is 130 degrees. But notice this, angle one and angle two form a straight line. So therefore, they form a linear pair. Linear pairs are supplement, supplements. That means they measure 180 degrees. So anytime two angles form a line, they measure 180 degrees. So to find angle two, what I can do is I can take 180 and subtract 130. 180 minus 130 gives me 50 degrees. So what that tells me is that angle two measures 50 degrees. Now that I know these two, I must find the other missing angles. So this one was 50 degrees, okay? Uh, angle five. Now, what I want you to notice is this, angle five, is on the bottom left angle two is on the top right so what i must do now is i must look at this chart and find two angles that are colored in the same way okay uh, and what i do is i look here at alternate exterior angles okay alternate exterior angles notice that angle seven is in pink and angle two is in pink that means that that is the same relationship as my angle five here and my angle two here, because they are, these two are this, in the same location that these two that are colored. Now notice this symbol that I have here means congruent. That means the same. So if two angles are alternate exterior angles, they are congruent. Congruent means the same. So if angle two is 50 degrees, then guess what? Angle five is also 50 degrees. So angle five is 50 degrees, okay? Uh, now they're asking for angle six. Angle six is right here. So I can do one of two things. I can use the same relationship that I used at the beginning because five and six form a linear pair. So therefore, these two, together measure 180. So I can take 180 and subtract 50 again, but I'm gonna do something different to show you how to use the chart. Notice that angle one is on the top left and angle six is on the bottom right. So if I look at this, uh, at this chart, it just happens to be the same relationship, alternate exterior angles. How do I know? Because look at angle one. Angle one is colored in yellow and angle eight down here is colored in yellow. So therefore, if angle one is 130, angle six will also be 130 because I repeat what I said earlier. They are alternate exterior angles, okay? So the answer for this one is 130 degrees. Now, I know that they're not asking for the other angles, but I'm gonna go ahead and find the other angles just so I can show you how to use the chart. Let's pretend that they are looking for uh, for angle eight, 
let's just say angle eight. Okay. So I'm sorry, let me go ahead and erase that and do it again. Let's say that they're looking for angle eight. Angle eight, notice this, angle eight is here. Well, now let me look at the chart. Angle eight would be the same as angle five. So guess what? Angle five is colored in uh, orange. Angle one is colored in orange. So whatever angle five measures, angle one will also measure. So those two are congruent and they are called corresponding angles. So let me go ahead and go back and write down that this will also be 130 degrees. 130 degrees. Okay. Now, let me show you. I know that I know that this seems confusing, but I guarantee you after practice, you will become better. So angle eight is 130 degrees. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Look at angle eight and four, angle eight and four. And I want to look, I want to find angle four. So let me look at the, at the chart over here, angle eight and four. Where here do you see the, the two angles that are colored the same color? Is four and eight and that would be same side interior notice that same side interior look at look at them both of them are in green and they are supplementary these are not congruent like the other three these are supplementary that means 180 degrees so together they equal 180 degrees so if angle eight is 130 and together angle four and eight equal 180, I can do the same thing I did earlier. I can be like, okay, um, 180 subtract 130 gives me 50. So guess what? Angle four is 50 degrees. Okay. Angle four is 50 degrees. Now look at angle three. Angle three, I, I need to look at angle three and find the relationship over here. I can do two things. Notice that angle three and angle two form a straight line. So again, you can subtract from 180, but I'm going to do it a different way to, to keep showing you how to use the, tape, the, the chart. So angle three, notice that it's in the same location as angle six. How do I know? Because look here, angle two and six are colored the same color, which means they are corresponding angles. So they are congruent. So whatever angle two is, angle six will also be. Now here is not two and six, it's two and seven. I'm sorry, let me, let, let me go back, okay? Let me go back. I was doing three and six. Three and six would be, it's the correct relationship, corresponding angles, but it would be like angle four in pink and angle eight in pink. Those two are the same color, so they're corresponding angles and they are congruent. So if angle six is 130, angle three is also 130. Last but not least, angle seven, okay? Angle seven here, angle seven, and angle two, have a relationship. How do I know? Because look at, look at here. Angle seven would be in the same location as, as angle six. Okay. Now what I do is when I look at the table, at the, at the chart, I'm sorry. I know that I have a six year, a six year, a six year, and a six year. But how do I know that I use this? Because this one and this one, angle six and two are in the same location as angle seven and two, and they are the same color. That's the keyword. Now look over here. How did I know that they are not same side interiors? Because angle six is not, is colored in yellow, angle two is not. So therefore I know that that's wrong. Now let me look here. Angle six is in pink, angle two is not colored. So guess what? It's not this one either. Uh, here, angle six is, is not colored and angle two is in pink. So that's how I know that's not the relationship. That's how I knew that the only possible answer was corresponding angles and they are congruent. So if angle eight, angle eight will equal angle four. 
So angle 7 equals angle 2. So therefore, this is 50 degrees. Okay. So what I want you to do is this. I know that I have taught a lot. But if you need additional help, watch this video as many times as you have to. Or if you still don't understand it, or if I made a mistake, because I'm human, sometimes I make mistakes when I record my videos, um, connect with your teacher to their virtual office hours, and I'm sure that they will be glad to assist you. Okay? Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.